hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel as always i would like to take this moment to thank those who took their time to watch this video and those who have subscribed and those who didn't subscribe please it is never late to do so hit that subscribe button so that next time when i post my videos you'll be able to watch today i have an announcement to make on friday guys it is my birthday which is which will be on the 10th of july so each and every present that you, you're willing to give I'm here waiting to receive so <laughs> so if you are fortunate enough to, to, to have some money I will I, I really need someone to sponsor my channel so that I can be able to buy a camera so that next time when I post my videos I'll be able to reveal my face and all that I think and it will be more interesting in that way so that you guys will be able to see me so without wasting much time today we're gonna be looking at the mix success of Kiza Chiefs with the last five coaches that coached the team. Without wasting much of your time, let's get onto it. So number one on the list we have yeah, Costa Papic. Costa Papic it's a Serbian football coach who have managed a number of African clubs in South Africa, Ghana, Nigeria and Tanzania. Papic was brought into the team of Kaiser Chiefs after the departure of German coach Enes Medendorp but just last a few months after a disappointing run into the league season. The Serb is known for his attacking football and he tried to get Chiefs playing his flowing brand but perhaps had too little time to truly implement his plans. He has, he has the lowest win percentage of the most recent coaches that have came to Chiefs and he came into the club on March 7, 2007 to June 4, 2007 which means he just spent only 3 months and on top of that he didn't even win one title so he just spent three months in the team so he just came for a vacation <laughs> so yeah guys Chiefs it's a very very big team it comes with a lot of pressure it comes with a lot of stress so you have to know your story when you're coming to Chiefs or considering to come to coach Kaiser Chiefs secondly we have Mushin Etugral Mushin Etugral He's from Turkey and he's coached several teams in the PSL, namely Marisbeck United, Ajax Cape Town, Orlando Pirates, Black Aces, Golden Arrows and other foreign teams. So with the teams that I've mentioned, you can see that Mushin Etugral is a manager of a high profile. So in the club of Kilo Chiefs, he came on July 1 after replacing Costa Papic on 2007 to May 8, 2009. Mushin was brought in from Ajax Cape Town for a second spell with the club after a successful Vet Alice stay at the turn of the century that include a victory in the 2001 African Cup Winners' Cup to date the club's only continental trophy. Mushin won two trophies in two years which include 2007 Tolkien Knockout and 2008 MTN8. Um, even though he won those cups in two years, but the Chiefs League form was disappointing and Etugra left at the end of the season with feeling that he had underachieved and Super Sport United won the league in both his season in charge at Nichirena with points total in the low of 50s. So as I've said before that Chiefs is a big team, it comes with a lot of pressure, Machine just resigned seeing that uh, the team is underperforming and the team was wanting the lead so yeah it is what it is guys so thirdly guys we have um vladimir fermuzovic you still remember the guy guys <laughs> vladimir fermuzovic he came in into the club on may 18 2009 to april 12 2012 Vermezovic was something of a left field appointment for Kaiser Chiefs, a complete unknown in the South African league. He came with a good tactic brain but not really personality needed to deal with South African players, though he would later have spell with Orlando Pirates where he won Net Bank Cup and nothing else. His only success for Chiefs came in back to back Telecom knockout trophy wins, but his stay also considered with the rich period for Pirates that cast the spotlight of his inability to claim the league title with Chiefs. He eventually resigned towards the end of the three year stay with the club. 
so far i've named three coaches and none of them won the league for kids chiefs only two that at least won the cups uh, the domestic cups but now we are going to the fourth one who actually brought the league to Kaiser Chiefs. If you think you know the name of the manager who brought the league into the Kaiser Chiefs, post the video and write his name under the comment. So without wasting much time, next we are having Stuart Baxter. Stuart Baxter is from England and he joined the team on July 1, 2012 after replacing Vermizovic and ended June 30, 2015. Um, Stuart Buster, he just came in with a 4-1 MTN quarterfinal loss to Sundowns but ended it as one of the most successful coaches in the club history. He won the league title in two of his three seasons and probably should have claimed a hat-trick but for an implosion towards the end of the 2013-14 season when the side was overtaken by Mongol Sundowns. He also won the Netbank Cup at MTN 8 and led the side on a 19-game unbeaten run from the start of the 2014-15 season. His tactics and calmer persona were a perfect fit for the Chiefs players. Even if he did not always see eye to eye with the club's football manager Bobby Mutau, he saw out his three-year contract winning the league in the final season but did not renew his deal and went on to have two game spell with with the other club intake, I forgot his name, before returning to South Africa with first Super Sport United and then he went to the national team. So far, Stuart Baxter is one of the most successful manager who have ever came to Kaiser Chiefs, even though I, I, I don't count those ones who came before I was even clever. <laughs> I, I'm talking about those ones who just came in now. He's one of the most coaches who are successful now so i really appreciate his effort that he has brought to the team so next we have the one and only mr winston steve compeller steve compeller is a south african coach who came into the team in june 17 2015 to april 21 2018 so steve compeller he resigned from the kaiser chiefs team before the end of the third season in charge after a poor run of result that had led to fan violence. He walked away from the club without winning a silverway, which was all in stark contract to the glittering success of Stuart Buster before him. To be fair, he took over an aging squad that need renewal and that proved a challenge with a hit and miss. Transfer dealings of the club management, over which he had little to say. His side was always defensively strong but battled in the final third, which proved their undoing. Had he managed to solve that problem even to a smaller degree and the picture might have been very different. So we can't really blame Steve Compella. His squad that he had, we also saw that they were, they were struggling in the final third. That they could maintain the game, but they couldn't score. So they were drawing, drawing, losing, drawing. No one was there to score, so we can't really blame him because Chiefs at that time didn't want to buy players. So you can see now they brought in uh, Nikovic, he's banging goals in there. That is what we wanted. So he didn't have that kind of um, luxury in his squad. So we can't really blame him. Like personally straight, I don't blame Steve Compella. The players he had was not enough. So guys, we have came to the end of our video. There are some other coaches that I, I really wanted to include in this video, but because of time, I couldn't manage to do so. There's other coach that we saw who, who failed big at Kiratis. He just came recently here. His name is um, Solinas. <laughs> I think you remember him, Solinas, who came with uh, the likes of um, Walong Simbi. I think he was playing left back or right back. I don't remember very well, but yeah, he came with uh, he came with uh, Solina. So, guys, as I've said, on the tenth of July, it is my birthday. Um, if you are fortunate enough to have something, please sponsor my channel so that next time when I post, I can be able to be visible, so that you can see me. I, I'm really in need of a camera. So, if you think you can help with that. 
please i will leave my email on the description down below so check it out if you really have something so if you don't it's also fine um we'll see when time goes by things will get better so without wasting much time guys please like my videos and subscribe bye